The union bought rubber stamp boards lessons to Jeffco. Lesson number one, it's okay to break the law and lie as long as you get what you want. Since its inception, Jeffco United organizers have said that the union was not involved in its recall effort of Ken Witt, Julie Williams, and John Newkirk. They have argued repeatedly that it was a grassroots effort on the part of three moms. Is it fair to to uh, call this a union-backed effort to recall these, these uh, board members? It is not at all fair to say that. This is not about the Teachers Association. But the Jefferson County Education Association says that from the moment the poll was closed in 2013, they were involved in supporting the recall. Here's the fact, Wendy McCord's Jeffco United funds came almost completely from unions. This chart shows that 99.9% .9 of Jeffco United funding stemmed directly from unions. Jeffco United received its first donation from the Colorado Education Association. So who all gave to Jeffco United? The National Education Association gave $150,000. The Colorado Education Association gave $113,500. The JCEA gave $20,000, and all other donations totaled $3,100. $115. Jeffco United received $286,615 in total contributions. The recall organizers blatantly lied to get the people that they wanted into power. But our lesson to the rubber stamp board is that liars always get caught.